Hey everybody, Hi Lord Timberlane with Obscurities in Miniature and today I really do have another obscurity for you because I don't even know where exactly this comes from. Well, no, I know it came from in the mail, but check this figure out because if you were playing video games in the late 90s, early 2000s, this should look like a very familiar character. So, we have a spiky-haired protagonist in very anime-looking clothing. I saw this guy online, I'm like, holy crap, somebody actually went and made an honest-to-goodness Final Fantasy character in resin in a tabletop scale. That is pretty cool. Now, of course, this isn't any kind of licensed character, and I've... Struggled with this debate, but I thought, you know what, when I was a kid, you got models of characters based on famous likenesses all the time, so I, meh, you know what, I don't think it's going to hurt Squaresoft too much, so just check this out. I'm very impressed by the casting quality. Um, it's very obviously based on Cloud, whether it is his actual Advent Children clothing or not, because the shirt looks a little bit like his Seven design. But the sword and his sleeves definitely look like Advent children. So, kind of cool. I'm going to grab some clippers. We're going to put them together. Because, hey, why not? It's freaking cloud for the table. Very cool. All right. So, we got Mr. Cloud Strife all built together here. And as you can see, it was a pretty simple build. He looks kind of small from right there. But when placed with other random figures in a lineup you can see that they're well he's not that badly out of place he's a little on the diminutive side but again he looks more real scale than anything else so obviously he doesn't have the more heroic proportions of the games workshop stuff he doesn't have the big over exaggerated style of kingdom death he doesn't have the stocky thickness of 40k but he does seem like he might fit in pretty decently with the shadows of brimstone stuff he does have the legs of a malifo figure but, you know, I don't know what I'm going to use him in. He's on a 25 millimeter base, at least that was included with him. And to me, that just says test of honor. I don't know. I see him running around with a bunch of samurai in ancient Japan. Why? I don't know. Maybe it was my playing Final Fantasy Tactics back when I was in college and unlocking him in that. I don't know. Could be. Or it could just be, you know, my nostalgia kicking in. But, you know, it's a really nice cast. It's very cool. Whether I'll be able to do it justice or not in terms of painting, who knows? I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup still. And obviously, we got to straighten out that sword blade, but that's nothing the hair dryer, hair, hair dryer can't fix up. So, again, the proportions are a little bit more anime esque than I'm used to for the tabletop. Hopefully, he should paint up reasonably okay. I don't know how I'm going to do the shirt, but. Suffice it to say, he's going to look like Cloud by the time I'm done. Sadly, the company that produced this, as far as I can tell, nobody's making a Sephiroth to go with it, or a Tifa, or Jojo, which is what I'd really like to see on the tabletop. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers, can they? With that said, it might take you a little bit of hunting to track this guy down. I didn't know it even existed. I was looking for something totally different when I stumbled upon Cloud here. So... Good luck out there. Start digging around on the internet. Maybe you'll find one too. And if you happen to find either Jojo from uh, Jojo no Kimi no Naboken or uh, any modern looking Kenshiro sculpts, by all means, please let me know. Or Sephiroth for that matter. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. And it's time for an Omni Slash, isn't it? Bye bye.